Hello. Hello. Hey, lady. <laughs> I got a really bit. Oh, see, we've already been going for eight seconds. I got to be mindful what I say to you before we uh, jump on. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Nothing's happening yet. Welcome to TikTok. And ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Right. My name's Christian Langeter and I'm an equine soft tissue therapist. I specialise in treating muscular issues in performance horses. Hi guys. Hi. Very, very short. Um, we haven't done this for a while. I have just almost got my voice back, so um, we're, we're hitting it. We're just going to say hello and do our usual thing. Um, hi, my name's Christian Langer. I'm a soft tissue, equine soft tissue therapist in Melbourne, Australia, and I fix horses for a living, and I can't even see all my website stuff. Anyway, um, so um, this, uh, straight out of the box, my wife always tells me not to say so, and so the first thing I do is say so. Anywho, hi Putchy if you're there. <clears throat> so I do this little uh, podcast go live kind of thing just to help people out with their horses. I do TikTok videos during the week and we break them down. Excuse my voice, it might be a bit rough today, but we break them down so we break them down um, so we can help you understand your horses better. So if you have a question, if you have, oh, someone's hitting the likes already, thank you very much. If you have any questions, if you have any problems with your horse, if you'd like to know anything about me, if you want to know why I have a husky voice today, <coughs> today feel free to ask. Um, I have a website, which is langaterequine.com. In that website, there is... <coughs> this is going to be a rough morning. In that website, um, there is a diagnostic component, component, or as Drew likes to say, di diagnostic resource. It is there designed to help you learn how to check your own horses. So go to my website. There are a couple of free videos. One is a free video on teaching you how to check your horse. The second one is actually a video to show you what the modules look like. So in each module, there's videos, there's written content, and there's anatomical diagrams. Um, and so it basically helps you uh, check your own horse, see how what's sore, if you need a vet, if you can do it yourself, if you need anyone else. Um, we're also on YouTube, we're on Spotify as well, um, <coughs> as the Lagnet Equine Show. Um, Drew will probably pop all these things up on the podcast. But anyway, so there you go. It is officially spring. Uh, not only have I just come back from not having a voice in any way, shape or form, because I've had a couple of virus, um, but we're having a, a storm warning for people who have got asthma and uh, that's me as well. Anyway. Um, Melissa, morning. Hi, how are you? So I'm just going to have a look and uh, see what's going on on the screen. Um, but thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you. I'm sorry we've been away for so long. It is spring carnival. There's a crazy amount of stuff going on. Um, I'm look, uh, Gay Waterhouse has quite a few horses running today. The one that I'm really looking forward to seeing is um, Elias in the Caulfield Cup today. I'm hoping he can win and go straight to the Melbourne Cup. That'll be another one of hers in the cup. Today in race two is a really interesting because it's a couple of my horses that I really like. Um, there's Lofty Arch, uh, which is Alex Race, and there's Lovely Cut, which is um, Reese Goodwin. Now that's in race two. So check those two out. I'd really love to see Lofty Arch is a beautiful uh, colt. Um, the other one is in, um, is that Pucci telling you something? No. <laughs> Saying the voices are not working. Hello. Pucci is actually on her way to uh, to um, Bonio Park now. Um, anyway, and at Bendigo, um, Ray Bazenko, Ray and Casey, who I love and who I work for quite a bit, they've got a horse called Rockcliffe, who's been sort of the darling of the, their stable for a while. He's running, he's favourite. Hopefully he goes well. A couple of other yell outs that I want to do is Nikki Burke and Rhiannon Schiffer, who came first and second in the Pinka Pinka. Um, Absolutely phenomenal run by both of them. It was so close. I don't know if it would have been the same if there was another 10 or 20 metres. The other one is um, Alex Ray has this really cool horse called Top Calibre. Keep an eye out for that horse. It's had one start for one win. And if you can have a look at that race, he absolutely gapped him. It's a former Chris Waller horse. There was a lot going on with it. We fixed it up and it is absolutely flying. So top caliber, keep an eye out. It's one of the lofty group's horses. Anyway, 
there all my tippy tippy stuff um to uh, hello anna hello from ireland <coughs> excuse me anna i have oh putchy saying it sounds better thank you putch drew's put a lot of work in over the last two weeks trying to make everything go well haven't you drew i sure have drew's like just concentrating on the screen at the moment i like when drew interacts with uh, me but he he doesn't often hello um <laughs> anyway i reckon we might crack on with the video drew what do you reckon and see we haven't done it for a while we're a little out of practice thank you everyone again for turning up and let's have a look at a neck video today's all about the neck it's about the neck i've been doing neck videos teaching people how to check out would you ever consider coming to ireland anna i'd love to i'm coming to the uk next year we've already booked so i'm not sure what else i'll be doing from that point that's pretty close to the UK, Ireland. I know. So is the whole of Europe. Hop, skip and a leopard. Yeah. Away. Yeah, right. Hop, skip and a <laughs> Here he is. He's almost woken up. Carl Martin Racing. It's, these guys are trotters. Ace, is that trotters? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. This is son of Matt or Luca. Anyway, I just wanted to show you something. Please with each mouth. I don't know what that's about. But if you can see these lines... In your horse, if you see these lines, it's obviously what happens is he's bracing his neck down. Is that, is, that loud? Between, is that loud enough? Oh, it's my deaf ear. Or if he's sawing the upper part of these lines. These lines mean this muscle that goes through here that braces the whole neck is actually sore. So if I look through those, you can see that, all right? There's the things that you're looking for. So if you see these lines and you use a massage unit or whatever it's going to do, do my thing and use a massage unit or your hands or whatever you want to use you're wasting your time if you have these lines doing this lower part because it's not here it's in that thing called the serratus you can use a massage gun really easily through here <laughs> he's pretty cute anyway <laughs> um, you can use a massage gun really easily so in any of your horses if you see lines through that part and that's why but he's a cult and he's a bit of a geek but he's cute um if you see those lines, massage through that part, okay? So you don't have to worry about looking down here. Just go straight to there. Thanks, Sophie. Right, that was Sophie at, um, uh, I've, got, I've forgotten his name now, Kyle Marshall's um, race table. So Kyle Marshall is one of my clients. Um, he's over from, they're over from New Zealand. They're doing amazing things here. That one in particular, Serratus, I always talk about how um, the importance of a free moving neck is important to a breathing. So um, that was actually one of them. He was, he was pretty good overall, except he had this little restriction in the neck. If you have a restriction in the neck, you can't breathe properly. I'm going to forward you again to a video called Within Nature's Giants. <coughs> I have a surprise for you coming up. Oh, did you show. put it in here? Yeah. The only concern I have is if it's a bit too gory and TikTok goes it's only the little not bit, for it's viewing. It's only the little bit where they're showing them. Oh, so we're things. actually going to show you, and it shows the lungs? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Kind of. Oh, right. We'll get to it. We're we'll going to get to it. Drew's got a surprise for me today, so about what I always talk about. So if you move a, a cadaver's head, the lungs actually move. So it's sort of like bellows, which means that not only do the horses breathe normally, but when they're in full flight and they're using their neck properly, they actually open their airways and just the pure movement of their neck makes them draw oxygen. So um, that's the reason why we need a free moving neck. And there's probably about five different parts to a neck to make sure that they're okay so it moves properly. Right. <coughs> Wendy. <coughs> Over to Wendy. Uh, we're still with um, Anna. We would love to have you here. It's a 45 minute flight to Ireland. Thanks, Drew. There you go. Um, <coughs> would you like me to read the questions? <coughs> okay. Wendy would like to say, Thank you. I don't know a lot about horses, but I volunteer and one of them gets upset with the girth put on. Yeah, so you very likely got ulcers, um, so that's just under the armpit. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And how do we check for that? Two ribs back? <coughs> go to the armpit and go two ribs back and just push between the ribs. Very likely that you've got a, um, either acidosis or ulcers. So, um, go for that. Check that. I think that that's going to be your issue. Thank you, Wendy. <coughs> Anna Fox. Hi, Anna. Thanks for joining us. Would like to know, one of my horses often gets cut in the neck and that is connected to the shoulder. Often get cut in the neck that is connected to the shoulder. 
he that would be right there. So treatment, but can you recommend exercises to help? Yeah, so just do, um, that would be that muscle probably that we just showed. And so what, all you need to do is if you know carrot stretches, you just need to make sure that you stretch the horse's head from side to side. Um, and I'd be going lower than the elbow. Like I would try to make him do it lower, being above the, uh, the upper part of the neck. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I would actually go from side to side, do carrot stretches, or even while you're on the horse, just make sure you bring the lead from side to side. So um, that's what I do. And all you're doing is mobilize. You're not stretching it. You're just mobilizing the neck. Um, what he gets regular fascial treatments. I think the person who's treating him is missing the serratus. Um, that would that's which is exactly that video I saw. Uh, I just showed you. So go back to that and have a look. There we go. Um, <coughs> that's on the TikTok. <coughs> Sorry? That's on the TikToks. They can find the whole... Uh, Excuse me. This is why I haven't been doing it because I've been coughing a lot. So I, I apologize. So please bear with me. I'm still trying to get through. Um, the other thing is we're already at 16. Even though I'm coughing a lung, we're already at 1,600 um, likes. If you guys keep hitting the likes, we really appreciate it because it puts us on other people's For You pages and just makes helping as many people as possible much easier and much more effective. So. Cool. <coughs> ah. Oh, my so, God. Uh, we're not always massive. We're not always treating where, the, uh, where it presents. Correct. Well, in that instance, you are. So. With, um, with serratus, you're looking for sucking in lines in the neck. You can see those from a mile away, or I can already see them just in here. Um, so if you have that sort of hole, and that's what I think you meant by the cutting, or like, you know, if you have that sucking in just above the, the, um, the vertebrae, you already know it's serratus. So the horse will give you little hints. Now, in that instance, you do actually look along the neck, mid-neck, and um, right where those lines are. So... Um, you absolutely do go in, in that instance, Drew. You do actually treat right where the thing is. Sarah, <coughs> hey love Sarah. Your videos. So interesting to learn what you do. Thank you, Sarah. Um, I love it, and um, hopefully a lot of other people do. I try to make it as interesting as possible and as educational as possible. Sometimes I ramble. Sometimes I cough too much while I'm talking, but um, hopefully, like you know, they're very helpful. Um, for everyone. Uh, I've waved at someone. Um, <coughs> Anna says, okay, now for the hip problem. Another horse of mine struggles with misaligned hips. Yeah, hi Anna, again. Um, when is your back still, mate? We... Oh, <laughs> it's the sheltered workshop today. So we're going hard today. Um, <coughs> so if you have, uh, where, where was it? Um, another horse. Hips. If you have misaligned hips or if you have what they call rotated pelvis or anything like that, all that means is, is Putty saying slow down? All that means is that uh, the inner pelvis um, on one side is sore and the bum is sore on the other side. So it actually rotates the pelvis. So what you've got, rather than having um, something that's like, uh, like on both sides, you've got opposite muscles that are sore. So if your horse is lower on the near side, then I would say inner pelvic muscles are on the near side and probably and probably bum on the opposite side. But what you need to do is you need to look on inside the pelvis and you also need to look outside the bum because that will actually rotate it. So you've just basically got an asymmetry in the soreness of muscles. There'd be plenty of videos here to actually look um, to find those. And so just have a look on my TikToks, have a run around. I would say that you probably got inner pelvis on one side and I would say biceps femoris on the other without actually having run my hand over your own horse, over your horse. But um, any type of misalignment just means that you got tightness on one side and an opposing different tightness on the other. Anyway. Guys, if you miss or uh, mishear any of the advice that Christian gives. The full version of this live uh, broadcast is up on his YouTube channel um, after a day or so after today. So you can always go back and look at your own question and um, re-listen to the answer if you need to. Thank you, Drew. Uh
My name's Christian Wangeter and I'm an equine soft tissue therapist. I specialise in treating muscular issues in performance horses. Hi, welcome to my website. The main part of this website and the main reason why I would like you, what I'd like you to have a look at is the educational part. So this is going to progress. This is just the beginning. Um, the beginning is the diagnostic part. The whole idea of the diagnostic part of the website is I check a horse in a fairly unique way and I check it rapidly and I look for whole bunches of little twitches. Generally, if horses are hanging in, hanging out, if they're not stretching out properly, if they're short behind, if they're not moving properly, if they walk out of their stables weird, uh, that's when I'm asked for my help. What this website is all about is to teach you how to know your horse, to teach you how to understand what each little twitch is, what each little soreness is. So, as I was saying, when I run my hand along the horse, I'm looking for particular things. And so in this website, what's gonna happen is for every little twitch that you see your horse do, there's a module and each module will have a video of how I actually check. It's going to have written content, an anatomical diagram, and then a video on what things look like when they're twitchy. Now, the other thing that it's going to talk about are um, what are your considerations? Can you fix it yourself? Do you need another professional like a vet, a farrier, saddle fitter, etc.? Um, so which one of those that you actually need? So then I find the sore spots, like, so this is before. I'm actually gonna like find the particular muscle and stretch it by isolating it and just pushing into it. And so then you get what was before and that's after. Yeah. So, Amazing. Every time I know, right? Up. It's like a magic trick, <laughs> isn't it? The idea here is for um, me to help you shorten the gap between um, uh, professionals and yourself so you can actually communicate to them better. And most of all, it's to help you understand your horse a lot better, get closer with your horse and know what's going on. So I've made it as simple as possible. I've tried to make it so everybody can understand it. This is not for therapists and vets. This is for just normal horse people. I've tried to keep it cheap as well. I think it's cheap. I'm, so have a look, go have a look at the example. Um, there's an example of what the modules look like. There's probably about 30 or so modules. Um, so please have a look. I just want to help everyone understand their horse better. I'm happy for people to contact me and let me know what they think of it. Um, do it on social media, TikTok, whatever. Um, but here it is. Welcome and hope you enjoy it. Thanks. I've seen massive results with horses that I haven't been able to get any result with. I would give him 100% difference on my horses. Uh, Anna, he had an accident a few years back and since then his hip gets misaligned. I get physio every month. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be different muscles. So um, I would I would look at that. Captain Frank, I like Elias for the Caulfield Cup. I think that I'm, that's the one that I'm hoping for. What is um, it called? So I can Elias. E? E-L-L-I-Y-A-S-S. -S, I am thinking. Race nine there. Anyway, um, Wendy, what schooling? Uh, to do what what you is schooling? Do. So, um, really interesting. When I started in 1999, there were absolutely no schooling for this sort of stuff, so I had to make it up. Um, I became qualified as a human Bowen therapist, which is an Australian-based therapy. They now have horse courses, um, so there are a lot of different courses. Um, they all vary, so I would really be careful not to do one that just sounds good and is online or, or whatever, I would definitely get recommendations. I do love the Bowen Therapist um, course here in Australia. I personally have got a website. I'm building my own course. It will be online, um, but it will be video heavy. Yes, Drew, is that you? No. Um, it will be online and, and it will be video heavy because that's how I learn. Um, so there, there are a lot of courses I think that they, a lot of them fall short in the diagnostics. That was why I originally did a diagnosis, a diagnosis um, 
resource on my website because there are too many therapists that don't know how to check things. There are too many vets that don't know how to check things. I work with a lot of people and I've seen um, the need for proper diagnosis. So um, I'm writing a course. It should be done for next year. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but now it depends on what you want to do, whether you want to do rehab, whether you want to do the sort of stuff that I do. There's acupuncture, chiropractic, osteopathy, um, physiotherapy, I think is good for rehab, maybe not so good for what I do. Um, so there are plenty of different courses. I'm writing one. Of course, I'm going to tell you that mine is the best and you should do that, um, but it will come up um, next, next year. But if you want to already understand about problems, go to my website and learn about um, diagnostics. So the full diagnostic, to how to diagnose what's wrong is already you, up Drew. at langaderecline.com and it's very, very cheap and you can all get over there and get it. It's the first half that you need before you start mm. treating and the treatment is coming. Shall we do another video? Or do you yeah, I just want to answer these two. Um, thank you and I'll definitely let every know when, everyone know when it's up. I am so crazy busy that... Um, you know, it, it's just taken a bit too long, so I apologise. Um, Wendy, can't wait to sign up. Absolutely. Super. <coughs> let's do All right, another everyone. one. We're just gonna Give me Christian one second. Let's do another one. Let Christian um, catch his breath. He's still alive. He's still alive. Hello, Hi, Neil. Um, we're at Brian the Brass. Um, this is old fashioned. I've been treating old fashioned for a very long time. Favorite this treatment. is the nicest he's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, if you have a pole issue, which you know is there to the pole, I always say that he is not sore here. But if you've got things that you think are the pole, there's a couple of different things. One of which is a T and J, which is a temporomandibular joint. And on skin, you can see that it does not feel good. So, this is the joint right here. You can see that bump right there. That's the cell. Down here is the jaw, and you have muscles that feed through here. Now, I'm going to be mindful. Now, when you treat these, or when you roll over them, good boy, be really light, okay? Be really gentle. And if you want to know how much it hurts, do it to yourself first, and then do it to your horse, because it can really hurt. So all I'm doing is I'm finding the little tight bits, I'm rolling my fingers over the muscle, and then I'm holding pressure into the back of the muscle. And then I'm trying to, it's a really small muscles up the top there where the attachment is. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. He has been known to be a bit bitey. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> so, um, so I'm being really kind to him. So now I'm just giving it a few more of the muscles here and a bit further. Now he tends to hang in, so this is why we're going through all these. So. Here's the thing, if you think it's the pole and you have a horse that's hanging in or hanging out, then the side they're hanging to, check this muscle there, or this muscle right here, or all through this part. So you can see already that they're not bothering anywhere near as much. So I'm not going to bully it, but you can see the difference, right? So if you have a horse hanging in or hanging out, Go to the side there, Ken. Check out here. Really nice. Okay, TMJ. TMJ. So, as you know, I'm going to let you in on a secret. It's never the pole! <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, right, um, if, if you think you have a pole issue, which you don't, right? You absolutely don't. It's going to either be TMJ, which is this, C2, which is the second vertebrae, and you just roll through be like between the throat and the neck to find out, or the hyoid, which is under here, which is a bone at the back of the tongue. In this instance, and in this instance, it was a TMJ. I also say, hanging in or hanging out, basically that means that they have a bias to one side or the other. All it means is if this side is tight, they're going to lean over here and they're gonna to run towards, towards the rail. So, if you have a horse that hangs, whichever way it's hanging, if I'm tilting this way, check the part, all the muscles that they're shortening. So you've got to think about, if you have a sore um, muscle, you tend to try to shorten it. You're not going to stretch it out. In dressage, you're going to find that if I have a horse that is shortening this side and holding onto the rein on this side, I'll find it very difficult to open that up. So whichever part that the horse shortens 
check the TMJ, the C2 and the hyoid. In that particular case, it was the TMJ, which is the temporomandibular joint. That's the joint here. And what we do is there's a fan of muscles that runs through that from that joint through to the jaw. And you just roll through the fan and see which part of that is actually tight. So when you find the one that's tight, just roll over it and just put a little bit of pressure back into the muscle and it will actually allow the muscle to stretch slightly and recalibrate the Golgi tendon organ, which is the organ that I actually uh, am trying to release. You can do it pretty easily. Just follow my videos and what could possibly go wrong? Anywho, um, um, uh, Anna Fox, onion compress around the neck overnight. It's amazing for a cough. Ah, thank you. I know. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry I'm so difficult to listen to today. Um, Frankie, biggest problem I find is pelvic, pelvic, dis, pelvic displacement due to uh, laterally imbalance in the hind feet. Yeah, look, so... Um, Anyone, Frankie, I don't know if you're actually a barrier. I can't see what is going on here. Um, you just ignore Keep going. Me. Frankie, I don't know if you're a barrier or not, but absolutely, the feet are a huge part of it. Um, strains, etc. But uh, you'd see, anyone who's a barrier would see a completely different view of the horse than I would. Um, you know, you go from the um, strains, etc. But uh, you'd see, anyone who's a barrier would see a completely different view of the horse than I would. Um, you know, you go from the filler still saying we're on, so um, I'm not sure. Drew looks concerned. Um, <laughs> so we're getting lots of... Thank you, everyone, who's hitting the likes. I really appreciate it. I'm struggling, but I'm pushing on because right. um, that's what I do. Um, Drew's watch... also messed up the, uh, the video that we were going to watch from yeah, YouTube, so right. that doesn't exist. Well, we're, that's okay. We're almost Next done week. for this one anyway, and I'm struggling, so we're, we're, anyway. Um... Uh, yeah, so I'm very lucky to have the hands that I've got, but I can teach you guys how to treat your horses. I promise. I'm going to write this course and I'm going to show you all. Um, I, I sound like a bit of a Donald Trump there. It's going to be the best course that I've It's going to be, be amazing. No one's ever seen a course like it. Anyway, um, but that's true, right? No one's seen a course like this. It's going to, I will definitely help you all treat your horses. Um, Brock. Um, hey, Chris in Lang, you know, love listening to you and watching your videos. Keep it up. Love it. Thank you, Brock. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> sorry, I'm struggling so hard. Putchy, nice hat. Thanks, Putch. That's very kind of you. Um, this is, uh, you know, where's the, uh, there's my new hats at uh, Spring 24. Um, uh, unfortunately, there's very limited amount of them. And uh, only right now, only my clients get them. So um, I know that that's selfish of me. And I <laughs> know I should do merch. But thank you, Putchy. I love your hat back, and I also love Drew's. Anyway, um, I'd definitely be interested in the course. Yeah, Sarah, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I've been writing it for a while, and it's been a, a bit of a slog. Um, I do do 12 to 16 hours a day, um, five days a week, and I'm absolutely slammed. So it's very difficult to try to fit writing a course in there as well. In your experience, yes, thanks, Drew. Like <laughs> is uh, TMJ problem more common with dressage or show jumpers? Um, TMJ fully, uh, firstly, isn't as common as hyoid. Any collection problems I find more in um, in dressage and racing. So um, uh, show jumpers tend to release the horses, like let the horses do a bit more themselves. Um, so they're not perpetually under strain. So um, with show jumpers, I always find semimembranosis, which is the jumping part, and then tricep and deep pec, which is the landing part, are not so much in their, in their collection <coughs> or connection. Um, so TMJ, C2 and um, hyoid, all more racing <coughs> than anyone else. <coughs> Brock would like me. to know, Christian, can you please give a shout out to my mate Harvey? <coughs> His mate Harvey is pretty unwell at the moment. So, so hi, Brock. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'd love to shout out to Harvey. What's his surname? Um, and hopefully he gets better. I know that, look, I mean, I'm, I've just got a flu, but um, yeah, that's not good. I could definitely shout out to Harvey. Hope he's okay. Hey, mate. Christian from Australia here. I don't know whereabouts you are, but look after yourself. I know 
There's a lot going on, especially since COVID. I know a lot of people who are very unwell, so um, all the best to you. Um, After treatment, <coughs> Melissa would like to know, what do you advise <coughs> the horse to do the following day regarding exercise? Work as normal. Um, I always say work as normal. Um, I don't like a day off. I'm releasing a whole bunch of toxins while I'm treating. And so... <coughs> <coughs> And so I can't talk. And so I like them to flush all the toxins out of their system. So I get them to work uh, as, as soon as possible. Um, so even if it's after the treatment, the next day, I always say drunk today, hungover tomorrow, and crazy the next day. And you can choose which one of those you want to ride, but I would like them to move as quickly as possible. So absolutely um, work them as normal. Amazing. <laughs> I reckon that's our time. If you're, I reckon that's my, my time. I've, I've, um, I think I've battled. I've pushed. Um, oh, hang on, sorry. I'm also, gonna get you one more. Also, can <clears throat> the tightness in the neck, TMJ, can influence breathing with the horses? Yeah, Anna. Do you know what? I'll actually take this. We next week. We will next week. We'll have that video that Christian was talking about. He always <laughs> references it. Um, what about giants? Within nature's, na giants. Within within nature's, nature's giants. giants over on YouTube. By the way, when you all jump over onto YouTube to follow Christian's channel, <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated. Um, YouTube up <coughs> within nature's giants, but we'll talk about that next Sorry. week when Christian's voice is working. Yeah. Um, and now he's going to try and say goodbye. No, uh, yeah, before I do say goodbye, the interesting other thing about, um, <coughs> dead horses and movement is... <coughs> Oh my God, is that if you have a restricted TMJ, oh sorry, a restricted hyoid, um, it restricts the back leg movement. So you can actually get a, a again, a cadaver and move its hind legs. And as soon as someone holds and restricts the hyoid, you actually get a restriction or about a 10% restriction in their hind legs. Anyway, that's, <laughs> that's gonna be it for me. I'm Cactus, I'll definitely be back next week. Thank you guys for putting up with me. We definitely had to get on again. So thank you, everyone. Um, I appreciate you guys following me. I appreciate you watching my videos. And I appreciate you following all the stuff that I do. Anyway, have an awesome day. Um, go watch. I haven't even mentioned uh, the big race in Sydney, the Everest. But I'm just not going to be able to. So thank you, everyone. And we'll see you all soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.